Okay, let's see how much memory I have for this thing. Okay, um, <clears throat> so what are we doing today? We are doing backup and recovery. You know the bad thing is it, you can't see the book, but it's okay. You can't see the practical. But the, for practical, we have a we have a uh, we have a video for the practical. So I am recording this so that maybe you guys are in a mood to review the lesson, so maybe you can see the recording quickly. Uh, just just for the things that that you miss out. And so let's see if this experiment is it works out. Then we'll record everything. Okay. Um, so we are doing backup and restore. We are doing what? Backup, backup and restore. restore. Now backup and restore. How how important backup and restore for any organization is? It's very very important. It is exactly like let's say at home we have one car, and that one car breaks down. Then what happens? You don't. You won't be able to do anything. I mean, you'll, you'll be able to, maybe you might be able to use the public transport, but that will be very slow. But your kids needs to go to college, they won't be able to go. So that one car should have a backup too. So you should have two cars. That is backup and restore in a normal life. Now let's compare that backup and restore in real, in, in IT life. In IT life, backup is very important. Now backup, so, uh, let, let's read through this this first paragraph of the book page 301 chapter 5 <coughs> and that says data production is a topic that is most people find less than interesting until a server fails or data gets corrupted when you've lost the data being able to recover it becomes the most interesting topic in the in the universe. And Server 2012 and 2012 R2 include several different tools that enables you to back up and recover data. Understanding which tools are appropriate for a given situation is important for uh, exam uh, 412 and is the topic and, and the topic in this chapter. And there are two lessons: how to configure a backup, and number two is recover a recover a backup. And that is, that, that is exactly how it is in the real life as well. So, if your server never crashes, you don't see the importance of backup. But as soon as the server is crashed, then that will become the most hot topic of the day throughout your organization, where is the backup? Because if there is no backup, think of this for a second. You're, you have a DC, so what is in the DC? For now, we think, the DC is just Active Directory. And Asma, do we know how to install Active Directory? Yeah. How do you install Active Directory? Go to the roles and then. And add ADDS roles. So you went to <coughs> role and added ADDS role and Active Directory is installed. And we think that this is how simple, it is. yes, Active Directory is that simple. But guys, it becomes complex so for now we had we have only four accounts maybe four account let's say we have one mike account mike adams we have don funk account from the book so that don guy we have that account we have just uh, and plus we have administrator account as well if our active directory dies it's not difficult to restore it i mean it, uh, it, it might be better to recreate it because you recreate it and create these account and you're done. But guys, in real organizations like Rogers, like IBM, like uh, HP, like uh, uh, Air Canada, or all these organizations, they don't have just three accounts. They have thousands and thousands of accounts. So what do you have? What do you have in Active Directory? You have user accounts. What else? What else is computer, there in Active Directory? You have computer, there all computer accounts, and you have groups in there. Yes. You have their permissions. Yes. You have OUs. You have group policies, GPOs, and you have all these not in hundreds, in thousands. 
and in thousand and then they are and they and then they are configured together how they are configured for example take an example of just one user from your let's say 100000 objects so let's say in your active directory you have 100000 objects and what are objects objects are these user accounts computer accounts groups permissions or user these are all objects in active directory let's look at just one user and its permissions let's say so this is a user called Mike Adam. And Mike Adam is a director in this organization. And for how long Mike Adam is there? Mike Adam is there in this organization for 10 years. How many years? 10 years. In 10 years. And within 10 years, Mike has access to many things. Mike has access to computers, his own computer. Mike has access to his smartphone. Mike has access to servers, maybe 400 servers, because he's a director. Maybe he has access to 400 servers out of 8,000 servers. So 400 servers he has access to. He has access to his own PC, his own smartphone. And then he has access to many applications in that organization. So he has access to Citrix application. He has access to billing application. He has access to, let's say, uh, a sales application as well. And other than that, he has other many other type of access. Now let's think of that. If this one account is deleted accidentally, then what do you have to do? Then we might think that it's just a matter of create that account again and set these permissions. What do you think? It won't be that simple. Well, creating an account is very simple. Creating an account, you just go to Active Directory and create it. But what is difficult? Mm -hmm. Go for it. These are difficult. Yeah. Even Mike doesn't know that where he had access to. Mike will be the most angry guy on that day for us because you, you have accidentally deleted his account and we don't know where his access is. And, and just think of this, this is just one guy and his permissions. You talk about 60,000 users and their access and permission. This is how important Active Directory is. And this is why it is most important to take regular Active Directory backups. Regular backups. If we don't take regular backups, then you cannot restore these things. And what type of disasters can be in this? So, the disaster, so backups and recovery. Um, so, we're going to come back to one-liners for these, but here, rest for understanding. Regular backup of what? Regular backup of the server and the applications on the server. So, regular, let's say, regular full backup. Anyway, you don't put them on CDs or? We put them on, on tapes, okay. on tapes or we put them on CDs. But in this chapter, we're going to discuss what should be a good strategy of taking backups. It is not part of the chapter. Actually, chapter, uh, this chapter has uh, many things in, in there, but it, it lacks a lot of uh, very important stuff here, too. So I'm going to, uh, we're, we're going to be going through the most important real-world stuff for the backup and restore, and we're going to go through the book definitions as well. But most importantly, you must understand the real-world stuff. So the real-world stuff is, let's say, since we now know the importance of this server and importance of the objects of this server, so we must take full backup of this server, if not daily, once a week. If not daily, once a week. So once a week, so we can say weekly, full backup of server. Full backup of server. Weekly. Now full but backup of server. Daily. Yes, so I, I'm going to tell you why not daily. Now, full backup means full backup means that when you take a full backup, it will take a lot of storage. Number one, not only it will take storage, but it will take time to backup as well. It is exactly like our normal server. For example, if now I think of backing up my computer, this computer, how much how much space would it need? So if I go here in, in, in my explorer and see my windows, in order to backup just my computer. I'm going to need 500 GBs of this, 500 GBs of this, and 340 GBs of this, and 30 GBs of this. So 
just for this one computer I am going to need at least more than 1.5 terabytes for full backup for full backup and just to back up this machine and I back up few times um, uh, just to back up this machine it will take around anywhere from five to six hours I have to so when I took the backup last time I think I took it maybe a year back when I took a backup I left it overnight so in next morning it was backed up so guys when you take a full backup it does it, it number one it takes a lot of time number one and number two it needs a lot of storage as well so what companies do they take full backup weekly of servers unless server is very very important if the server is important then the company will find time and will do the full backup as well so full backup weekly but then there is a second type of backup that is known as so there is full full backup the second backup is known as system state backup so daily daily system state backup now system state backup back backs up the most important system computer related files full backup backups everything will have system state backup backups only very important file and full backup is now known as bare metal backup as well full backup is now known as bare metal backup as well so uh, we'll go back and i'll give you the definitions as well but here full backup weekly once a week we do full backup let's say we do full backup every friday night every friday night we do full backup and that will take it will start backing up let's say at 12 a.m at night and it will finish by 6 a.m okay so from 12 to 6 a.m full backup every friday and rest from monday from monday tuesday wednesday thursday and fr leaving friday saturday and sunday all of them are system state backup system state backup is a backup of very important files so here i'm going to write this is a backup of backup of all important system related files system related files all important system related files so this backups all important system system files system files so if you have one if you have latest system state backup with a full backup you can restore it to the latest version you can restore it to a latest version and system state backup since it is not backing up a full server it will take less time so let's say if this full backup is taking six hours to backup system state backup will take only one hour system state backup will only take one hour so that will take only one hour one hour and storage this one is taking let's say two terabytes of storage and this one is going to need maybe 500 gb so storage is 500 gb now this is just backing up and how important this backing up is once your server goes down then we'll see the importance of this otherwise every day your backup is just going on and on and on and on and maybe your server will never crash but when it crashes then you will see the importance of backups yes so so right after this i'm going to give you the retention policy that is known as retention policy so first of all the backups how backups are done and then how long do you want to keep the backups so i'll leave that here and then we'll go with few de few basic definition that will go on but before going on to basic definition do we know the do we know the importance importance of backups do we know the importance of backup? Backups are very important for any organization. Are they very important for any organization? Yes, yes or no? Yes, yes. yes, they are very, very important for organization. And I just give you one example here. This was just one example. 
if the complete server dies, that's a, that's a whole different ball game. Uh, uh, it, this is only one angry user that you have to take care of. If the complete server dies, CEO, VPs, all your organization is after you. That's why it went down. We're spending millions and millions on IT, but, but why, why was there no backup? So backup has to be latest as well. Backup has to be. So let's go through this. Backup and restore. The, the backup is going to be on other server or on the same server. So yes, it, these backups will be on tape drives. On these tape drive. backups will be on tape drive. Okay. Now on tape drive, what happens is you get a tape and we back up so everything goes into the tape and then we'll, we'll, we'll just save it and, uh, and uh, save it for, uh, for future use. And then I'm going to go into, that is known as retention policy. I'm going to go over retention policy in a few minutes. Okay, so first of all, let, let's write a few sentences here. Backup and restore. So, number one, backup are very important for any organization, for any Backups are very important for any organization, number one. Number two, backups should be taken regularly and seriously. Backups, backup types, backup types. Backup types are number one, full backup or bare metal backup. Full backup or bare metal backup. Full backup or bare metal backup is it is a it is a full server backup. Okay, it is a full, the, uh, full backup or, or bare metal backup. Bare, bare, bare metal backup. backup meaning it's a backup from outside of your server. Complete backup. Backups should be taken. Backup should be taken regularly and seriously. Full backup or bare metal backup? It is a full backup of server. It takes longer time and requires and requires it takes longer time and requires and requires more storage. Mostly full backups are done weekly. Full backups are done weekly. Second one system state backup. This is a backup of this is a backup of most important most important system files. This is a backup of most important system <coughs> system files. Most of the time it is done, it is done daily, 
it is done daily it takes less time and storage and number 3 is custom backup This is a backup of individual files and folder. Now, and, and other than this, there is, there is some cloud backup as well. For example, right here, Windows Azure backup. There are cloud backups as well. Number four, there is uh, Windows Windows Azure backup. It is considered as cloud backup. <coughs> With this backup, you're not taking backup on a tape drive. Basically, you're, you're taking it to a cloud. You're taking backup on internet. This is a cloud backup where we take backups <coughs> of servers or files and stores them on internet and stores them on internet. It is a paid backup. It is a paid backup. Last one is role specific. role specific this one role specific or application backups role specific and application backup now role specific or application backups role specific and application backups are based on what application you're backing up. For example, um, it is a special backup of roles individual roles or applications. It is a special backup of roles and applications. For example, for example, DHCP backup, DHCP, DNS, or 
Citrix backup. Now, many organizations don't do role specific backup. Many organizations. Why? Because if they are doing a full backup, that is already included in role. The, those roles are already included in full backup. But then sometimes you have to do only a role backup. <coughs> okay. I'll give you two minutes. Just read through this and try digesting it. And read through read through this and if you have questions just underline what you don't understand so three minutes for this three minutes three minutes just read through this your notes and, and see what, what it is it's not the lab time okay, okay. 